welcome back to the channel, Aquila Wonders, where I work and play and travel for fun living outside my Nissan Rogue. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Hey guys. So, that was weird. But anyway, I am leaving out for the next contract in a couple of days and you will see different format with my videos because I am no longer holding the phone like a regular phone like this. I bought a little selfie stick and I'm holding the phone like this. So, you're going to get a nice wide picture going forward from now on. Um, I am working on getting better at YouTube. So, what I wanted to show you guys is what I'm packing it to Chris for the next three months. I had long conversations with my aunt and I need to really get into a minimalistic mind frame. Just taking the bare necessities. I cannot stuff Chris with all this stuff that I want to have because living, living in him for the first five months, I realized less is more and you know, YouTube University would tell you that, but until you live in it and experience it, then you realize you have to shuffle a lot of stuff around. So right now I took everything out of Chris except my bed and a few little trinkets. So that's not everything, but I took the majority of the stuff out of Chris. Um, and what I'm doing now is repacking him with only the essentials, only the things that I need to survive this 13 week contract. Wow. I cannot talk today. 13 week contract that I have and I will be videotaping my next location so hold off on that um, I don't want to bring you guys too close to the time where I'm in just for safety reasons but you guys understand so I will be packing up Chris section by section and I want to take you along to see how it is coming from bareness bare um empty car to my living quarters okay so watch out for the next clip okay so this is two weeks before i head out to the next adventure my next assignment and here is this beautiful amazon truck so big it's huge that's the ford transit so the car has been at my aunt's house uh for nine months so i left in december and i just got back and everything seems to do okay it's doing okay like my mattresses they still doing good so we're going to take everything out and start all over again this is now 90 percent empty the bed is still in good shape. This is the kitchen area. Everything else has been taken out from under the seats. And just a little bit of paperwork in there. So. With that being said, I am not 100% sure how I'm going to do this. I want to minimize and take only the essentials. And I need to figure that out. Okay, so stay tuned and let's see how we can do this. Okay, guys, so we're in my auntie's house and this is... The stuff that was purged out of Chris, rearranged, and now is going into Chris, hopefully. We will see. Um, this is all the other stuff that I own that will be going into the van, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. It's a lot, I know. Um, I'm downsizing. Every time I come back from a contract, it's I'm downsizing more and more and more, noticing what I don't use. So 
Still the same concept, still a lot of storage containers and a lot of storage boxes here. So let's hopefully it'll get organized. The first thing I'm going to pack up is the under storage for the car where my spare tire was. And I'm going to be adding the things that I, I don't need on a daily basis. Okay, so remember in the tour video, we have the under carriage storage that I do not use because I sleep here. So remember that curtain rod? I don't use it as much as I have the window coverings, but it's still good to have um, if I have wet clothes or something. I will repurpose it somehow, but I don't use this a lot. This, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. When it is overstuffed, it kind of lifts up. So I have to keep this area flat as possible, but still question mark on what I'm going to be putting in. Out. Now this is where the tire was. It's not. This is my under carriage storage. So I will be putting in my chair. So let me get back to you when I'm finished packing it up. Okay, guys. So I packed up what I feel like is necessary to leave under here. This is some extra kitchen stuff. Um, and you will see a lot of this iridescent stuff. I'm a collector of that stuff. So right now, this is some of the kitchen stuff. Maybe for camping or um, trips outside of the city I will be using that stuff but not every day the chair I have a vacuum that I can charge um, to help clean if I don't go to the car wash and I do have my own business so some of the materials for my business are back here I just don't use that every single day so that will be located in this area okay I decided to put all the shower stuff that I might need um, to reach and get easily and this is a USB shower so I'm gonna keep that stuff in this little compartment here okay guys so this is how my bed looks when it's fully out extended I usually keep that chair passenger left side chair up obviously don't need to be down but as you can see two whole people can fit in here this is the table it doesn't fit underneath here so I'll leave it up here or sometimes I slide it underneath the bed just because it just fits long ways so I'm going to show you guys how I sleep in the bed. that go here which is usually my clothes um, but we're going to get the organizers and let me show you how it looks when 
I have this area filled out. Okay, so this is how Chris looks when he is packed up during the day. And we have here linen storage, pantry and food storage, and miscellaneous closet storage like extra soap, perfume, things like that. So I'm going to break it down and show you guys. Oh, and of course, van life. That's the Ford Transit truck, um, Amazon truck. <sighs> Someday. Okay, so this is linen storage, extra sheet, and I only use the bottom fitted sheet. These are microfiber towels. I have two of them microfiber head wrap so when I wet my hair I can just have it just for my hair and then this is a bug screen and I'm going to show you guys how I do my bug screen now I use velcro tape all the way around sorry for the lighting and I velcro tape this aspect of it. So let me show you how I do it. So this is a DIY project that I did. Because when I was in Dallas, there was a lot of bugs. So I ordered two of these bug screens and I just sewed it together. So, Hi. Okay. so this is what I did. So, when I'm at the park, I just sit here in the car and I have the bug screens to protect me. And they're just attached by Velcro right here. Nothing fancy. And then on the bottom here, I just sewed it into little pockets here because they usually go all the way down here. I mean, I could cut it. I might just cut it. Um, but it works for now. And that's how I keep the bugs out when I'm just chilling and Chris at the park. So in the first basket here, we have our kitchen pantry. Just shakes. This one varies peanut butter for my shakes. So I usually keep my shakes in there. This is my shake cup for tea, coffee. This is a USB blender. That's dead. Don't like it too much. So that is the kitchen pantry. The next container is, let's say this is a bedroom closet just over uh, storage modest stuff extra soap pens deodorant so I'll keep my stuff here I still got space on the side so towels stuff like that back here my aunt gave me her cooler so it is a collapsible cooler uh, she works for Chase and she got all this stuff. So I already had bought one before I left. This is mine that I bought. But I like this concept of having a dual right here. So the greatest thing uh, about working in healthcare, sometimes they have dry ice that they throw away a lot of the times when they get like implants and stuff. So sometimes I just grab some of those dry ice things. But I would definitely keep this in here as a dual 
insulation and put ice in this bucket here. I could put some non parable stuff here, so that'll be good. And it sits in the back like that. So right now, this is how Chris is going to look in the back. Chris okay this is what the other side looks like on the passenger side of the driver we have my extra blanket pillow sits like this so we have this three car cargo compartment organizer keeps me organized books Slippers, shower slippers. This is my closet, shoe closet here. This is vitamin T. I'm not sure what this middle one's going to be, but we'll figure it out. This is going to be like quick access. This is my scrub hats. These are my scarves for my head. Look at this bag I got on Wayfair. It's the name of the channel. Mine is the S, but yes. Aquila Wonder, wandering around the United States. Okay, remember these bags from my nighttime tour? These are my clothes. I have one jackets, things that I don't need, sweaters if it gets cold. So this would be like winter stuff. These are my going out clothes for the weekend. And it was very hard for me to minimalize this stuff because i love clothes i love to shop so but i'm getting better these are my yoga pants and shirts so they already are folded up to the match the pair so i don't have to keep digging like through another shirt bag it's already like if it's black pants it's a black shirt or if it's a blue i'll show you in a minute but there's that these are my yoga shorts hopefully the yoga suit is open up soon and I could take yoga again I love yoga these are my pajamas and my um, pajama dresses these are socks and I have one more for panties there's that this is trash can iridescent you know I love my iridescent remember I told you guys about the ever dry so it's been sitting in the car this whole time and Arizona is pretty dry so it has not changed any color again i don't know if i'm just not collecting any moisture which is a good thing so i'm happy about this this is what i would call the medicine cabinet in the bathroom because it has all my um, bathroom stuff that i would need that i need to grab real quick so there's that This is, I will call my electrical compartment. This is a battery to keep myself charged at nighttime. It runs off the car battery, so I have that. This is a fan that I have, and it's only, it's USB. Everything I have is USB powered, and you just press on the button. It, 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 it does work. I'm going to have to show a video on how I stay cool in the car. That's the next video. I'll be keeping all my sheets either on this side or that side, depending if I want car space. Uh, fleece. So this seat will pretty much remain empty on this side. These are all my gadgets. USB light. USB heater. Amazon. This is that. What is this called? Arctic Air Ultra. Makes reviews. Say it doesn't work. But I just need it for sleeping right and then i'm not looking for ac so this will have to work uh, i haven't used it yet so i'm really really can't wait to use this in the car and give you guys a video on that 
air usb air pump and again that ever dry came with two well let's see because i don't know this seems to be changed color and it's in a plastic bag this was in the plastic bag and do you see how it changed color this is really wet in the plastic and you see how green it is wow so it does work maybe my auntie's house has moisture well she'd run the ac a lot so that makes sense so how to get rid of the moisture you have to plug it into this and i'm going to see if it works on my car battery so this will be a good experiment okay it does come with a hanger so you can hang it so what else is in here is my yoga mat this is an umbrella just in case the front seat will have again nothing too much just my bag personal bag and it will have the laundry bag here but that's basically it there's nothing too much else going oh i did buy these for the back window here so it's going to be an inside obviously and that's going to help me um block out anybody seeing through there so i'm going to actually fix that up now and that's it good purging when i went to hawaii then i realized how much stuff i don't use so it was really a good exper uh, experience for me to really be minimalist in a different state without having a storage you know i usually have storage somewhere so coming back here i'm just like oh i don't need this or oh, i don't need this or oh, i don't need this i need to make my life as simple as possible so i'm working on that little by little after I do this contract, I'm going to see how much money I save to see if by the end of this contract, I'm going to be ready for a van. But the latest time I'm going to get the van is my birthday. My deadline is my birthday. So April 30th, 2021, I want to have my van purchased. And I'm the reason why I'm not purchasing it now is because I don't have any money. <laughs> it's just put it like that not that I don't have any money I don't have van money because I know I get very frustrated with DIY projects and I know I'm going to get some help but the best thing for me to do is buy something that is close to new and have somebody build it out for me that is just that is just the type of chick I am I do not enjoy doing things that's so complicated and I don't understand. I just like things to be done the right way. And to be things to be done the right way, you have to pay for it. So I am looking to convert my van and buy something newer with less mileage. And I don't want to compromise on any type of mechanical issues. So Chris and I are going to be leaving out in two days. And we are going to go on to this adventure. And please, please, please bear with me on this journey. I have so many videos coming up, but it's a lot of work and I'm just trying to get a schedule going. So once I find out what exactly I'm going to be working, like my hours, then I can just, you know, plug in more time to get YouTube. But first thing first, I did get a gimbal. So that's a good thing. And just guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for just being on this third part of my journey, I'm going to say. And, um... I really do appreciate the subscriptions. I really appreciate the feedback. Please ask me anything, especially if you want to ask me about what I do for work and how do I do, uh, how do I uh, train people for the job that I do because I do have my own business in that. So please ask me anything you would like in the most respectful way possible. And I will do my best to get back to you guys. But again, I'm not forcing anybody to subscribe or to like it's okay i'm really doing it for me bottom line so thank you we are about to have a great fall of 2020 COVID be damned i have my mask
but you know, I'm being protected, but we're still going to have some fun. So see you in the next video.